Welcome to this new and special edition of the Queer God Squad. We are the coolest pastors you will ever meet. Faith and religion can be complicated for the LGBTQ plus community. Surveys show that evangelical faith is a justification for the greatest attacks on the LGBTQ plus community. So the Queer God Squad is going to explore our religious community, explore the big news of the day and what it means to you. And we are going to explore if we can find some places that help heal the pain and hurt religion can be responsible for. We know you're going to find some hope, peace, and fun in our conversation. It's 3 p.m. and the Queer God Squad is broadcasting daily. This is live and then we are available on demand. We are available on all smart televisions, including Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, YouTube, and Facebook. In the entire world, nothing like this has ever existed for the LGBTQ plus community before. I am Rev. Dr. Darrell Watkins, the Senior Minister here at Sunshine Cathedral. I am Rev. Dr. Robert Griffin, the Executive Minister here at the Sunshine Cathedral. I am the Rev. Kevin Tisdall, the Minister of Education at Sunshine Cathedral. Radical GOP and evangelicals have launched a culture war on our LGBTQ plus community. They want to push you back in the closet. We're not going. At Sunshine Cathedral, we are here to tell you that you are God's miracle, not God's mistake. Our commitment in partnering with Happening Out Television Network and Queer News Tonight is to give the LGBTQ plus faith community this voice for hope, for change, that you are not alone. Happening Out Television Network is a 501c3 nonprofit media platform in the television and radio model of PBS and NPR, but designed for our LGBTQ plus community. The Queer God Squad is part of one of the largest LGBTQ plus media companies in America, Hotspot Magazine and Happening Out Television Network. Our mission is to support the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community including the black community, Latino, lesbian, and queer women, trans, students and youth, seniors, HIV AIDS healthcare, social justice, business, and our 10th pillar is faith. Help us support our LGBTQ plus community. This is the Sunshine Cathedral Perspective. Gay affirming church in Texas firebombed. The front doors of a Plano church in Texas were damaged in a firebomb attack early on July 23rd this year. Sometime between midnight and 12.30 a.m., an incendiary device with a chemical accelerant was either thrown or placed at the doors of the Community Unitarian Universalist Church of Plano's main building. Plano firefighters extinguished the blaze and the damage was limited to the front doors and objects directly outside and the entrance foyer. No one was injured. Church leaders posted to Facebook calling the incident a firebomb attack. Plano police confirmed arson investigators are heading the case. A department spokesman said they are investigating who threw an accelerant at the church and whether more than one suspect was involved. The church continued to have Sunday morning services with extra security provided by Plano police officers. According to the church, a hate group has been targeting it since at least June 25th. Plano Fire Rescue did not share any information on a potential suspect or suspects, only that this is a criminal investigation. They said the fire marshal is looking at surveillance footage from a nearby street and building cameras. This takes me back to the 1990s and the church I went to at the time was meeting on the Rutgers campus in the chapel. It was 6.30 service. And my husband and I, the first time we came to the church, we were late because we got lost, long story there. But when we finally got there, there was a woman who was sitting toward the back and she turned around and she was staring at us. So after service, I went up and introduced myself and I said, is everything all right? 
She says, well, we have to be very vigilant because people will come in here and try to hurt us. And that was 1997. So here we are in 2023, and still there are people who want to hurt folks who are worshiping God in a way that they understand. It, it, it hurts me to know that, that this still exists, and it just, just kind of gets to me that we don't seem to learn. Mm. We, we don't seem to move forward from the ugliness that too many churches preach. I think, you know, when I saw this tagline uh, for this segment here, I thought back to, you know, early church bombings and fires, the, you know, the Birmingham bombing, mm -hmm. where the full of girls was killed. Yeah. And it seems like history has shown us that some group is always targeted for something. Mm -hmm. And now that this church has been targeted for being gay friendly and gay affirming, it doesn't surprise me that this would still happen in 2023. Because anytime you stand on the side of justice, someone is not going to like it and someone's going to want to do something about it. And it is a shame that these people who do these types of attacks are all the ones who will hide behind scripture, mm -hmm. hide behind politics, hide behind a lot of things in order to cause hate towards someone else. Uh, and, you know, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's worrisome to me because, uh, you know, when we uh, had our uh, security training at the cathedral a couple of years ago, one of the things, you know, got mentioned was like, it's not if, it's when. Mm. And I think that's the case for a lot of churches, a lot of places that are vulnerable right now under various political regimes. It's like, we, you, you just, in this day and time, you don't, you can't live without expecting something happening at a church, or even, even at a shopping mall or, or a movie theater. It's just, that's the, that's the time in which we now live. And that is sad to me that that's, that's where we are. Well, and also look where it is. Uh, this is a church in Texas where there's a lot of just ugly rhetoric at the, uh, at the political level, uh, and in religious circles. And so you, it, it, it actually does give some credence to, uh, hate speech leads to hateful actions. Mm -hmm. And uh, it does remind me of, of the MCC New Orleans in the early 70s being firebombed and uh, just so many people uh, died. It reminds me of the, the Sikh community in Wisconsin a few years mm -hmm. ago that was attacked. Several Jewish synagogues. Reminds me of the Unitarian Church a few years ago in, in uh, I believe it was Nashville, somewhere in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing for being gay friendly in a very homophobic state. Um, so yeah, this, this, this is a pattern over, uh, over and over. And it seems to come out of this concerted efforts by politicians and religious groups mm -hmm. to dehumanize other groups. And once we see them as less than human, then it's, it's, then we can hunt them for sport. We can do whatever we want to because they're not really people. And we're really doing the world a favor by putting them in their place and showing them how insignificant they are. And, uh, but the Unitarian Universalists are all about peace and love and acceptance and inclusion and diversity. Uh, so they're actually part of the, part of the healing. Yeah. So of course they come after them. So, uh, well, we stand with our, with our UU friends in Plano mm -hmm. and, uh, wish them uh, recovery from all that and just keep shining. God knows that where you are, your light is needed. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you. We are excited to tell you, we are going, uh, on a cruise in the Eastern Mediterranean this fall that will include the world's major religious sites for Christians, Jews, and Muslims as we visit Athens, I love Athens, and Egypt, first time going, and Israel, I love Israel, and Ephesus, first time going, I'm excited, can you tell? <laughs> uh, and, uh, on our three continents cruise. And you can find out more and reserve your space at happeningout.travel slash sunshine. Join Reverend Dr. Darrell Watkins and Reverend Dr. Robert Griffin as they host more than 50 people on the Sunshine Cathedral 13-day cruise tour to three continents. From just $13.99, you'll visit Athens and cruise to Egypt and the Giza Plateau to see the Great Pyramid, Sphinx, and brand new Egyptian National Museum with King Tut exhibit. Then to Israel for Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. Don't miss the most important Christian UNESCO site in the world located in Turkey and the 3,000-year-old city of Ephesus. You also cruise the Med for Rhodes in the Greek Isles and Cyprus. A farewell at the Acropolis makes this a never-before combination of historic sites a must-do cruise. It's all turnkey inclusive and a bar is available. All transfers, escorts, hotels, and more. Go to happeningout.travel slash sunshine for complete details.
Would you like to join the Queer God Squad on a special winter cruise in 2024? Well, now you can. You will visit Cozumel, Mexico, Grand Cayman, and Ocho Rios, and you can even add an open bar and Wi-Fi. Join us by going to happeningout.travel slash sunshine. Join the Queer God Squad and Sunshine Cathedral for a wonderful Caribbean cruise on the brand new Ultra Deluxe MSC Seascape. The eight-day cruise starts at just $399 plus government taxes. Sail February 10th, 2024 from Miami to Ocean K MSC Marine Reserve, the world's best private island. You'll also visit Cozumel, Mexico, Grand Cayman, and Ocho Rios. Join us on an eight-day Caribbean cruise. This winter cruise will be the perfect getaway and an opportunity to support Sunshine Cathedral as a beneficiary. The trip is affordable for all, as you can make a reservation on this cruise for just one dollar, just a buck, to confirm your reservation, and then there's a $99 interest-free monthly payment plan, so it's easy on your pockets. What's more, there's also a free open bar and Wi-Fi program when you pay for just one day, $25 transfers to and from the Miami Pier, and an exclusive onboard entertainment program for Sunshine Cathedral guests. This cruise will be a perfect winter getaway for you. Join us by going to happeningout.travel slash sunshine. That's today with the Queer God Squad. We want to thank you for joining us. We are here daily at 3 p.m. to have some fun and talk about what our LGBTQ plus community is talking about. Sunshine Cathedral is the world's largest progressive queer church. Progressive, queer, and God are words that naturally should go together. And we are all in this together. Remember that. You are God's miracle, not God's mistake. Until next time, we are the Queer God Squad. Goodbye. Bye.